Really great project management is very much dependent upon the project manager having great leadership skills. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the essential leadership skills that project managers need in order to be successful. And if you need help building the right skill set, understanding the right tools, I got you covered. I actually have a free webinar. I call it the Fab Five, really teaching you the Fab Five main things you need to know in order to be great at project management. Guess what? The link is underneath this video. Hi, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Adriana Girdler, and you've landed on the best practical project management channel out there, in my personal opinion. A little biased, but that's okay. Uh, I would be honored if you would consider subscribing as it really helps us grow this amazing community. Now, if you are ready to learn about those leadership skills that are gonna help you be an effective project manager, mm, let's get to it. Share the vision. All right, all great leaders are visionaries. And it's the same thing with being a great project manager as well. Those leadership skills are important. You wanna share the vision of the project. What is everyone working towards? Why are they doing it? Really get everybody on board, not just for the stuff that they have to do, but the why as to why they have to do it, the vision itself. So share that. It's your job to lead your team to the conclusion of that project. And sharing the vision is just a great motivator in order to do that. Know how to delegate. A real good project manager, who's also a leader, knows how to delegate. You can't take it all on. That actually will lead to a lot of failure, stress, issues within your project. And like any good leader, you don't you're not there to solve everything, you're there to bring people together in order for their subject uh, expertise to help you solve everything. Same thing from a project manager. So learn how to delegate. Ensure you give the right amount of work to your team members and that you don't take it all on. So that delegation skill is really gonna not only help you help your team, but it's also gonna ensure that you actually are successful to the completion of the project. Now, before we jump into the next tip, don't forget to save your seat on my free webinar, those fab fives that you need for projects. It's for you free. The link is below this video, so definitely check it out, save your seat. Now, what's that next tip? Be a problem solver. All right, this becomes really important because I think naturally we all wanna solve problems. But when you're a project manager and one that's really leading in a leadership and a true leadership skill is, yes, you have to learn how to solve problems, not by yourself, but collectively with your group. It's part of that whole delegation aspect of it. So people are gonna be constantly coming to you. I got this issue, what's going on? Do some really good active listening, guide them to find the solution, but you yourself have to understand what the problems are and collectively together with your team, you can find those right solutions. So really understand how to properly problem solve, not by yourself, but with your team. Stay calm and collected. All good leaders know that if they're calm and collected, particularly in times of crisis, that that is a really good example, leading by example, for the rest of their teams. And in project management, that becomes really important. Because you know what? You are gonna have things that go off the rail. You are gonna have risks that come to fruition. You are gonna have problems and issues that you have to solve immediately. And you have a choice. And your choice is to either go into it being, oh my goodness, I can't believe this is happening. Or are you calm and collected? Showing that example to the rest of your team. So they can come to you and realize they're not gonna be yelled at. That is really important and a great quality that really good leaders do. And as a project manager, a leadership skill I highly recommend that you look to incorporate is your calm, cool, collected nature. It really is only gonna ensure that people know that they can trust you and come to you without getting any negative repercussions for something that they may have no control on. Now, before I go to the next tip, I'm gonna ask you if you could like this video and also subscribe. It tells YouTube we're doing a good job because I really wanna give you more great content. Team Builder. Having the skill set on how to build a really happy, uh, cohesive team is really important as a leader. If your team is happy, then they're really, or at least connected to know what's going on and feel like you have their back. That has a very positive impact on the outcome of your project. And any good leader knows they're not gonna get to the top 
by themselves, they're gonna do it with their collective group. And in servitude leadership, it is all about how do you as a leader serve your people? And that is getting to know them, understanding their strengths, ensuring that you realize what their weaknesses are so that you can lift them up and give them things that is going to ensure their success. Because their success is your success. And I have some really great videos for you if you go search bar, Adriana Girdler, team building, on how to incorporate some of those things. Be selective when you do it because again, we of course want to have fun and do team building, but not every session has to be a team building session. It's a question of really getting to know your team and incorporating them as it makes sense. Now that you have all of those leadership skills that are going to help you be an amazing project manager, my last little shout out for you is definitely go to the link under this video and sign up. Save your seat for my free webinar on those five fab things you need to know for project management. It's free. You can't go wrong. And it's my gift to you. Anyway, see you later.